Well, hello everyone, this is Peter Brown from Official Weather. For the next seven days here, we are heading in towards the latter portions of August. I know it's hard to believe we actually only have a couple of weeks left of meteorological summer. I know for a lot of us, including me, that is a sad thought. As yes, we are starting to head very close towards September and into the fall season. However, we definitely do not have any fall-like temperatures around coming to visit us here in the Burlington area over the next seven to 10 days, starting at our period actually on Friday, we're gonna be seeing temperatures well up into the 80s to near 90 again. So a real return of midsummer-like heat here to the Burlington area. That's gonna continue right through our weekend. And then we're gonna see temperatures probably trail off as we get towards the end of the period into Thursday. Our average high still at this time of the year should be in the mid to upper 80s. And that's pretty much where we're probably going to be ending up. So a fairly average week in terms of dip to temperature. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that much in terms of rainfall in the Burlington area. I know that's something that a lot of you have been waiting for. We have our reservoirs and rivers and lakes are so low right now here, especially in eastern New England. And of course, as you notice, our length of days, those keep getting shorter and shorter. And as we head towards September, we're going to really start to notice the loss of daylight out there. So as we go ahead, let's take a look what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us here in the Burlington area in terms of temperatures and precipitation for the next 7 to 10 days. And again, looking at our temperature map, very typical of what we've been seeing for most of the summer around here in New England, the chances and very high chances of above average temperatures for our region. And looking at our precipitation chances, looks like they're calling for us actually to have above average precipitation. I'm not really seeing that right now. and may depend on how many showers and thunderstorms we get in here as we get towards next Tuesday and Wednesday, but it doesn't really look like we're going to be seeing much in the way of organized rainfall out there. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at those seven days of weather coming up. And again, starting our period on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it is going to be hazy, hot, and humid out there. Temperatures in the 80s and the low 90s for Friday and then all the way through the weekend. Unfortunately, that's going to exacerbate the drought problems that we have here in the Burlington area. We are already in an extreme drought. If we continue like this for another couple of weeks, we may be moved into an exceptional drought category, something we haven't seen here in the Burlington area and rest of New England since back in the 80s. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that as the conditions are going to stay pretty dry out there. Temperatures cool down a bit as we get in towards Monday and Tuesday. And again, that chance of maybe some showers and thunderstorms, hopefully with some beneficial rainfall by Tuesday and Wednesday again. Once again, not an assured thing, unfortunately. As we get in towards Thursday, it looks like warm and dry conditions return as we head towards the final days of August. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.